Congratulations. I think the smile on your face says it all. Your first professional title on your shoulder. How does that feel? Uh, I feel super good, man. Super happy with, with the performance, super happy with the outcome, and just ready to get back in the gym and, and get ready to defend it and, and fight for many more. To win your first professional title on a card like this in Las Vegas, your first fight in Las Vegas yeah. as well, why does that make it even more special for you? Uh, super special. You know, it's something I dreamed of since a little kid, you know, fighting in Vegas, Team Arena in the undercard of Canelo Alvarez and Triple G. You know, it's, a, it's like a dream come true, man. I'm super happy and I'm um, excited for, for what's to come. You said you were very happy with the performance in the build-up. You expected Enrique Calazzo to be a very tough opponent. Talk yeah. us through the fight through those first what, f five rounds. Yeah, first first few rounds were a little tricky. You know, I could tell he he, he had skills. You know, he's uh, he was a smart fighter, so I, I had to be smart as well. You know, I couldn't just go in there and uh, run into anything anything dumb you know so I think the the our game plan worked just as we thought you know first few rounds be a little cautious be a little careful and little by little break them down and, and we found the openings and we capitalized we certainly found the opening a yeah. massive massive right hand yeah. probably one of the punches of your career just talk us through that shot because that was certainly the beginning of the end to the fight wasn't it yeah um, you know it's funny because um, you know my corner told me you know the right hand is there he's bringing the left hand down a little bit and I can hear other guys like Eddie Hearn I saw, uh, I saw you go and yeah, shake his hand me, yeah told me the right hand is there and, and I heard him and I'm like okay so as soon as he said that boom through the right hand and it was money you know I, I had him really hurt and um, uh, yeah man the right hand was there when you ran over to Eddie just to, to give him a fist bump over the ropes were you just thanking him yeah yeah he, you know he called it this guy is actually like the third time that happens he's just like throw this and I do it and, and it just lands perfectly I don't know it's just like like, it's like I could hear his voice so clearly it's kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> you have to get him in the corner for the next one yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> Diego for you as an up-and-coming prospect you're still only so young but when you're delivering performances like this the hype is very much real what do you right. do just to keep focused and keep your feet on the ground at this stage uh, you know I'm, I've, I've always been a person who um, who who's, who stays ready you know stays disciplined you know I'm, I'm a fighter that that no matter uh, the accomplishments that I get, you know, I know that's still a lot more to come. You know, this is the first of many belts. I'm only 21, you know, so there's still a long way to go and um, I'm ready. You know, I'm excited for, for the challenges that are to come. Your third fight in nine months. Estrada Chocolate 03, December 3rd. We'd be hoping you get a call from Eddie to maybe defend the belt on that card. Yeah, hopefully, man. That'd be a perfect card. Um, you know, uh, Chocolate and Estrada, two great fighters, you know, that I respect a lot and idolize. Would be, would be a great honor to fight on their undercard. And uh, the main event, Diego, it's a fight. We can't wait for I'm sure it's a fight you can't wait to go and sit and enjoy tonight. Yeah. How do you see it unfolding? Uh, it's going to be a great fight, man. I think it's a really 50-50 fight. You know, both guys are, are really tough fighters. Um, uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. It's going to be a really tough fight. I think the fans are going to win in this one. And for all your fans who were watching around the world on the zone and who are in the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas to support you tonight, do you have a final message for them? Yeah, thank you so much for the support. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the performance and uh, be ready for the next one. Thank yeah, you, guys. And the new. Well done, my yes, man. Sir. Thank you. Good stuff.